I was having fun. You know, I was like, yeah, I'm kicking butt. And then I got to the final boss of the world, you know, the evil ex. And now I die and start the world all over again. Frustrating. What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today we are reviewing a game and if you like game reviews, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more. The game we're going to review is Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game, the complete edition for the Nintendo Switch. I was fortunate enough to get a copy for the Nintendo Switch from Ubisoft, so shout out to Ubisoft for giving me this opportunity to review the game for the Nintendo Switch. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game, is a 2D arcade style beat em up side scrolling game. It was inspired by a comic book and movie. But it was a comic book first. We were able to review the complete edition and that includes the game, DLCs, Knives and Wallace, and the mini games. If you're not familiar with Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the story is we got a character, our protagonist, Scott, and he dates this girl named Ramona. And it turns out that she has seven evil exes and he needs to fight them. Actually, he needs to defeat them. To make it clear, he needs to defeat them. Characters. We got Scott Pilgrim, the protagonist of the story. He must defeat Ramona's seven evil exes to continue dating her. Ramona Flowers, Scott's love interest, have a talks with a mallet, can travel through subspace, has seven evil exes who challenge Scott for her affection. Stephen Stills, Scott's friend and lead singer guitarist of the Sex Bob Bomb. Kim Pine, Scott's friend, ex and drummer of Sex Bob Bomb. Knives Chow, Scott's ex. Wallace Wells, Scott's friend and roommate. Then we have the evil exes, which are Matthew Patel, Lucas Lee, Todd Ingram, Roxanne Richer, Kyle and Ken Katayanagi, and Gideon Graves, an association of villains who used to date Ramona. Their goal is to interfere and control Ramona's love life. Gameplay Scott Pilgrim vs. Where the Game is a 2D arcade style side scrolling beat em up game. Players start the game with a set of four characters Scott, Ramona, Stefan, and Kim. Knives and Walls are DLC characters, and Nega Scott is an unlockable character. Each character has their own set of moves. As each character levels up, they learn new abilities, unlock secret items and modes, summon powerful allies, and more. Completing the game as a different character would give Scott a different ending. Before playing, I definitely suggest people to check out the help and options because the game doesn't have a tutorial. They only tell you the mechanics for moves when you acquire them because as you level up, you do gain new abilities and that's when they tell you, okay, this is the combo for it. And that's it. There are seven worlds with two or more sections and the boss battle at the end. Players must complete the world without dying because there are no spawning points. For example, if a player dies during a boss battle, they restart at the beginning of the world. While traveling through the worlds, there will be times enemies heavily increase to the point it's challenging for single players, especially with only three lives. Blocking helps preserve the health and items buff up the character. Players can buy a variety of items by going into shops, and they can get snacks, meals, and accessories. Snack and meals replenish heart points, gut points, and give experience points. Accessories improve characters' strength, defense, speed, and willpower. As I said before, the game can be played as single player, co-op, or online multiplayer. With multiplayer, people can team up to four characters working together through the story. Mini games like Dodgeball or Battle Royale. There is the story mode and the extra game modes. Extra game modes are boss rush, defeating all bosses one after the other as quickly as possible. Survivor horror, defeating as many zombies as you can and survive. Battle Royale. The Battle Royale is a free for all versus mode in a wrestling ring for up to four players. Dodgeball. Players beat each other in a dodgeball game up to four players. You can play co-op with friends and family at home, or you can play online multiplayer. To play online multiplayer, you need to be connected with Ubisoft. Once you're connected, then you can invite friends to play with. Audio! The most that can be said about the game's audio is the music. Chip 2 music, also known as 8-bit music. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game, is a song for everything. Upbeat and energizing. Some of the songs sound nostalgic, reminding players of other titles. Graphics! Scott Pilgrim vs. The World of the Game was inspired by the iconic comic book series. Ubisoft did a fabulous job replicating the comic book series in the pixel form. 
There are many features in the game paying tribute to Double Dragon, Mega Man, Mario, and River City Ransom. And now for my thoughts and impression of the game. I'm going to be straight up. I'm going to say that players should not dive into Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game, like they can just blow through it. Nah. When I first played the game, my first impression was, well, damn, this is hard, because I died a lot. A lot. I got frustrated when enemies suddenly ran up to me, and I felt overwhelmed when enemies swarmed from both sides. Shops weren't obvious, so I didn't frequently get items to replenish my HP or buff up attributes. After a couple of playthroughs, I learned to take advantage of blocking. I'm not gonna lie, half the time, I was blocking my enemies. Whenever I was near a shop, I got a meal or a snack. I replenished that HP. Meals can only be consumed in shops, but snacks can be brought to go. There were times when my HP was low. I would run back to a shop for a meal or snack, and if I could get at the highest price, I would. Frequently visiting shops, plus getting XP from defeating enemies, resulted in my character leveling up quick. After utilizing items, gameplay became easier, so I was able to appreciate the graphics, like the little things they had, and I was able to have fun strategizing with my abilities, because every time when our characters level up, they gain new abilities. So I had fun trying to figure out how to defeat my enemies faster. I was having fun, you know? I was like, yeah, I'm kicking butt. And then I got to the final boss of the world, you know, the evil X, and now I die and start the world all over again. Frustrating. I always died at the final boss, but the silver lining was I kept the experience, which helped me level up and I learned the pattern which helped me defeat the evil X. Conclusion is, this is a trial and error game. Don't be discouraged if you're dying a lot. Don't be discouraged if you die in the first place. It doesn't mean you're a bad player. It just means that you gotta work on it. I also have a theory that by the game making players go through the world all over again, it's giving players an opportunity to collect money. And when you collect money, you can go into the shops and get the food and the items and such. I'm being positive about this. I'm being optimistic. And that's my game review of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World The Game, the complete edition for the Nintendo Switch. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. From this review, what did you think about the game? Do you have any questions, opinions? If you do, leave them in the comments below. We also have a Discord. The link is in the description. If you want to like talk about the game there, you're more than welcome. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. Some people who watch my videos do pop in and like talk about stuff from the video or just anything because our community is diverse. We do talk about a variety of stuff. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and everything else we're interested in. If you like anime and manga, I do have a link to the podcast in the description. It is available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lihua, and this was the Superfina Channel's game review of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game, the complete edition for the Nintendo Switch. Hope you guys liked it, and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.